is up everybody to tiz your boy geek of sneakers back with another video if you are new to the channel i do sneaker and fashion related videos if you want to see more videos like this one be sure to subscribe we're actually doing a giveaway at 5k where i'm giving away two 150 dollars gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing and after you subscribe make sure to hit the notification bell to be notified every time i upload make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it and make sure to follow me on twitter and ig at geek of sneak underscore and by the way since i have a bunch of sneaker reviews to do this week we're doing something i'm calling sneaker review Week. I got like five sneaker reviews that I need to do so three of them are going to be going up sporadically throughout the week The day that this video is uploaded should be a Wednesday Hopefully so that way I could probably post the second video by Friday and then the third video by Sunday Because the third one I post for this week is gonna be a banger I, I promise you since it's vlogmas and I got a whole month off from classes I'm going off in December like I'm, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to post every day But I am gonna try to post three to four videos a week for the month of December, but that's it for the announcements Let me not waste any more time and get into why you know you clicked on a video is because we have a review on the Jordan 11 Jubilee or the 25th anniversary I got lucky getting these because I just so happened to get a notification on my phone from the sneakers app but while I was using it saying get the Jubilees now act fast to get your pair or something like that and I immediately rushed to the app to try to cop my size unfortunately I couldn't get them but I thought let me just try to get another size so I could see them in person and get a review out for you guys to give you guys my thoughts on a shoe for for anyone who's trying to cop on the actual release date so I was able to get a size 10 and check out the shop drop I got it from happened on the 11th of November I think so about a whole month before the actual release and the official release date is this Saturday on December 12th for a hundred not ooh, oh my gosh I wish for two hundred and twenty dollars the colorway looks pretty simple and pictures but I feel like with with this shoe and, and to be honest a lot of the shoes that I've been copying recently look a lot better in person they're very comparable to the 72 tens that came out five years ago they both have a very similar look just with a few changes and something I thought that was very interesting the Jubilees actually have the same concept as a sample pair of the DMP 11s we got a black nylon material for the uppers the regular patent leather is also in black as usual we got rope laces and speaking of laces if you want to see different ways on how to lace this shoe or any Jordan 11 you may have I do have a lacing tutorial up so make sure to hit the eye icon to check that video out the eyelets have metal lettering going across it I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a metal or, or shiny plastic but either way it looks super dope the Jumpman and the 23 on the back also have that shiny material along with the smooth leather the midsole is in white with the bottoms in a milky white color again similar to the 72 tens and we got the black insoles with the Jumpman and the 23 logo that's on the back of the shoe the box is different this year for the 11s I'm personally used to and grew up on how you had to slide open the box to take out the 11s and the box for the Jubilees actually look like that but to actually open it you have to open these two flaps that you're seeing in the b-roll something a little bit different but I think is super cool that they did with the packaging of the shoe these are the first 11s I've gotten in a minute I do have the cool gray 11s from 2011 that I got in sneaker con back in 2017 but this is the first 11 I've gotten where you know the patent leather is supposed to you know it, it replicates the original version of the Jordan 11s back in 96 with the high patent leather cut it's just unfortunate I can't keep them because it isn't my size but overall but overall my thoughts on the shoe I really like it I think the quality is great like I said they look so better in person but I do feel like with the added touches of the metal or the, or the shiny material on the shoe I feel like it would have looked even better with with a more complex colorway or something that's or something that has a little bit more color than just you know black and white or they probably could have added a few more major colors to the shoe but it's still a really dope shoe let me know if you guys are gonna be copying this Saturday and if you're watching after the release let me know your opinions on the shoe if you copped or didn't cop make sure to leave the geek emoji down below if you made it this far into the video Again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more sneaker from Bro. Again, make sure to subscribe for more sneaker and fashion content. Hit the notification bell, stomp the like button, and again follow me on Twitter and IG at Geek of Sneak underscore. Hope you guys keep rocking with your boy. It's been your boy Harry, aka Geek of Sneakers, aka Geek of Sneaks, aka Geek, aka G O S. Thank y'all for watching. Have an amazing day. I'm out.